Hello friends, in this video I'm going to work with delete roles and permissions and also I want to display a banner when we create, update or delete the roles and permissions and uh, I want to hide also the admin because I don't want to uh, update the admin because in the road we add we add the role admin here so if we made a change this is going to break okay so first let's uh, hide this admin and we can use the where not in so if you go to the Laravel permission package and basic usage so where not in we have this here and open the role controller now instead of role all we can say role where not in the name in our case is admin and only the admin right now we don't want to hide anything else and if i come here and refresh yeah we have only two next one is to show the banner when we make uh, changes and also hide that with the alpine js so i have searched in the italianui.com and here we have an example so let's copy this one and i'm going to add this in the resources views layouts admin layout i'm going to add it right here so first i'm going to check if the session has message and paste that in and now we don't need this learn more this is going to be work with alpine and hide the banner so just remove this div and here now we need to display the so session get message and the same thing here so this is for the breakpoints okay now work with alpine.js and i'm going to say here x data and uh, open is going to be uh, true by default and also this uh, x show is going to be to open and now when we click this button it's going to hide so so remove this and uh, on click this open is going to be false and uh, uh, sorry let indent this one okay and save now open the controller so roll controller and uh, when we create or update or what we want so here I'm going to say with a message and here I'm going to say a role updated successful you can say what you want save this go to the browser refresh go and update this one update and yeah the role updated successfully now if i click here we hide that okay nice now uh, the same thing you can do for the create and so just copy this and when we store add it here and changes role created successfully 
Okay. Now let's work with the delete. And when we go to the admin roles index, we have this anchor tag. And uh, here I'm going to add I'm going to add the form. So let's say form with the method post and the action is going to be the road admin roles destroy. We need to add the role ID here. And I'm going to say on submit return and confirm. So confirm. Are you sure? Okay. Now here we need that, that uh, CSRF token. Also we need that the method because the method is going to be delete. And uh, also add the button to be type submit and uh, say delete and close the form save now in the role controller we need to create that method and i'm going to say a function the name of the function is destroy we need the role here dollar sign role and what we need just delete that so the role delete and return we need to return back so return back and I'm going to say with the message and the message is going to be a role deleted save come here and refresh and uh, first we need to add the class here so copy this and after that we need to remove this one we don't need to save and refresh this and uh, why we have this up and down let's add the legs here and also this is going to be space not yeah refresh and yeah now if i delete this we have the are you sure click ok and uh, response with where is this? <laughs> oh, sorry, friends. With like this, go back, refresh, and we delete it. So, if I delete also this one, are you sure? Click OK, and we delete it, and they're all deleted. Go and create and say user, we're all created successfully, and we have there. And now the same thing for the uh, permissions, so copy this form and open the permissions index and instead of this we need to add that form just change the method 
the action to be permissions and the permission here okay and also we need to add this flex and fix this one to be space save go to the permissions and we have something like this but we don't have the the destroy method so in the permission controller come here and create that and i'm going to copy what we have here so copy this one and paste it here just change the role to be uh, permission okay and here also permission delete and return back with permission deleted save come here and refresh and do the, the same thing for the update and so on so copy this and when we update we need to say permission updated and you say successfully or not is up to you just for to save some time i'm going to just save this one so create it save come here refresh and click delete are you sure okay deleted and permission deleted go and create one so i'm going to say update posts create and permission created and here we have okay friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best